Hello everyone, and welcome to my phase 2 investments. In this video, I'll talk about some materials that might increase in price in phase 2. The first items that I highlight right here is the Ice Guard set. These items become handy when you fight the first boss in the new raid SSC. Fighting this boss makes your tank take a lot of thrust damage, and having resistance gear will definitely improve your tanking. To craft this set, you'll need different materials. The Primal Water and Primal Fire might increase in price in Phase 2 for this specific reason. Another useful set for SSC is going to be the Wild Guard set. This requires Primal Life and Primal Shadows. Most of these Primals are already a bit expensive, but in case they're going to remove some layers, then the price might also increase for all these materials, because it's going to be more difficult to grind them. The materials for this classic flask could potentially go up. The reason for this is because Arcane becomes a really good spec for mages in phase 2. But when you play as Arcane, you will need a huge mana pool. The good thing about this flask is that intellect also gives you spell critical strike rating and spell damage. So make sure to pay attention to the Black Lotus, Ice Cap and Dreamfoil price. Now that I'm already talking about flask, then in Burning Crusade phase 2, Flask will also become more useful. The phase 1 content ain't really that difficult, but in phase 2 everything will become a little bit more difficult. But all these flasks share one thing in common. You will need a Fell Lotus to craft them. Crafting these flasks also require you to have some other herbs, but all of them are not the same for each flask. The only thing they all share is the Fell Lotus, so make sure to pay attention to that market. With the introduction of the two new raids, there will also be introduced some new profession items. These patterns all drop in SSC and TK, and what you need for these are mainly primals and some other stuff. Most of these items require primal fire, primal water, and some also primal air. So this market could also increase in price, and also because of the resistance gear that I showed in the beginning. Before you spend all your gold on primals, then I'm not recommending you to buy them right away. Make sure to wait for the demand to go down in phase 1. At some point there won't be the same demand for it and that could result in a decrease in price. What it all depends on is also if Blizzard is going to remove layers. The moment they're going to remove layers, it's going to be more difficult to farm and the price will go up. If I see an announcement with Blizzard removing layers, then I would for sure invest a lot of my gold into different materials that will be more difficult to farm. I hope you found this video useful. In case you would like to see a phase 3 investment in the future, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.